welcome back to the channel. I'm Lily Williams and today I'm going to be taking you through a short cool down and stretch for after you've done your bone. So first off I just want to say I really hope you enjoyed your run. I'm just going to be taking you through a few stretches to help you aid recovering and just so that you hopefully don't tighten up throughout the day. First thing I want you to do is just take a deep breath and we're just going to very gently move our head around side to side and then just roll it from one side to the other. I don't know about you, but when I run, I hold quite a lot of tension up here. So I just like to try and loosen that off. And we're just gonna pull your head to one side and we'll just hold for 10 seconds. And then just take it to the other side. And that's just to try and get rid of some of that tension in the traps. Great, okay, and then I just want you to do one, two, three, four. We're just going to do some shoulder rolls. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just to relieve that upper body tension. Okay, right, so the next thing we're going to do from here on out, we're going to be holding the stretches. So the first one that we're going to do is cross your legs over. Doesn't matter which one's which. Cross your legs over, drop your body forward, just do it to the side. And we're just going to hold this for a minute. So drop your body down. And this is, you should feel it in your shin on this back leg. So obviously, once your calves are tight, you know, your shins go. So we're just going to stretch that out with the shins. Cross your legs the other way, whichever leg you have, cross them the other way, and just do the same thing again. Try and get your body over as far as you can. You might want to maybe play with your weight a little bit, rock around a little bit, move forward. Obviously, if you're not all the way down, don't worry about it. As long as you're feeling a stretch in that back shin, downward dog position and this is going to be for hamstrings and also for calves as well so if you take the downward dog position obviously you want to be pushing back on your on your hands but straight up in the air and just lower those heels and we're just going to hold that so the more you tilt your pelvis this way and the more you push your sit bones up the more it will act on your hamstrings and then the more you push your heels down the more it will act on your calves. Try and straighten your legs as well and then after a little while you can just pad each heel to get your calves individually. Or you can do them both together.
going to do is the pigeon stretch. And then, so again, take it to the floor. And we're going to put one leg in front of us and the other leg in this way, actually. One leg in front of us and the other one behind. And this leg, the more kind of of a right angle you have it, the harder it is. So you might want to bring it in a little bit, push our weight all the way over. And this is to get right into that glute. And we're just going to hold this. You can put your body down as well, but it feels like you're getting a good stretch. one of my favorite stretches and this is just like sometimes when I've been running and like I feel like obviously been working your arms, working your legs and it all for me like I kind of end up with like quite a stiff back so I always like to just finish with this one which is if you sit on your bum and then what we're going to do is we're going to take our legs straight over our head and we get a really nice back stretch so let's go so just roll onto your back and then tip your legs over your head you can either keep your legs straight and you're looking to pop your heels on the wall or you can bend your legs either side of your head and that just gets you back. So this one is your back, this one involves your hamstrings as well so it can be really good for after your run just to get um, all of that tension out and again you can like push your knees in this way so I would just normally hang there until you feel like your back is quite loose. A bit of this one, and a bit of this one. Ooh. Oh. <coughs> okay, so I hope that's helped you cool down and stretch after your run. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope that's helped you cool down after your run. They're just a few of the exercises that I've been finding really helpful after I've been running. If you did like this video, as always, please like and subscribe. Feel free to hit that notification bell. I do have lots of other videos, including a warm up before you go running, so if you haven't checked that out yet, please feel free to go and have a look at that. Again, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you soon.